My definition of attitude is attitude is your point of view. It's where you are looking from. It's your, adva- your vantage point or your disadvantage point, depending upon the attitude that you have the power to choose. But it's not what we look at. It's what we see and perceive that determines our experience, that determines our reality. The way you perceive yourself, the lens through which you see the world, the meaning that you attach to people, places, and circumstances, and these are all determined by the stories that you tell yourself. And these stories are directly determined by the attitudes that you have the power to shift. So what I'd like you to do over the next few days is think about the story or stories that you are telling yourself. Are you the hero? Excellent. Is it a comedy? Excellent. Are you a victim? Not so good. Is it a melodrama? Not so good. Is it a murder mystery? Getting worse. (laughs) Is it a horror show? No! (laughs) But your attitude is just the foundation for a formula that I live by, that I swear by, that is the topic of my next book. Check this out. Your attitude is what drives your behavior. And one attitude can drive many behaviors. And your behavior is what determines the consequences of your life. And one behavior can drive many consequences. And this is such a simple formula. A times B equals C. Attitude times behavior equals consequence. You now understand the mechanism of how you can use your attitude to drive different behaviors and produce different consequences in your life.